Welcome back. Here's another question. Class blank locations are those that are hazardous because of the presence of easily ignitable fibers or where materials producing combustible flyings are handled. And then you have class one, two, three, four. Class uh, hazardous locations are going to be right there, article 500. But if you don't know, you can go to the index. Look up hazardous locations, because that's our keyword in there, right? Hazardous. Um, go to H, and hazardous is pretty quick to find. Has hazardous atmospheres and hazardous locations. So you got class 1, 2, and 3, divisions 1 and 2, article 500. Again, that was the tab that I showed you previously. So we'll just jump right back to that section. Uh, there is no class 4. There is only class 1, 2, and 3, division 1 and 2. So we have uh, basically a 33% chance of getting this right because class 4 should automatically be a giveaway. Uh, we're going to go to and just kind of thumb through this. But if you look at 500.5 classification of locations, you're going to have section B, class 1, section C, class 2, section D, class 3. This is how you're going to determine what classification you are in. So we'll look at class 1. Class 1 locations are those in which flammable gases, flammable liquid produced vapors, or combustible liquid produced vapors are present. So that is not what we're looking for. We're looking for ignitable fibers or combustible flyings. Class two. Class two locations are those that are hazardous because of the presence of combustible dust. Dust is not fibers, nor is it flyings. Go to class three. Uh, these are determined by D1 and D2. D1, class one division one is D1A and D2A. And if you go down here, uh, class 3, Division 2 is D2A and D2B, but they say the same thing. Combustible fibers and flyings, and down here, combustible fibers and flyings. So uh, without getting too deep into the woods here, it's going to be C. Class 3 locations are those hazardous with the ignitable fibers or flyings. Hope that helps. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.